Hello, I am Silver Wheel Witch. Welcome to my channel. So I have decided to do bird divination and to delve deeper into it as a formal study and form of divination that I practice. Um, so I wanted to share that with everybody here on YouTube. So I thought I would jump on here today and this is kind of informal. I don't really have um, too much structure planned, but I thought I would kind of just talk about what my plans are and my thoughts and share with the resources that I'm going to start with. Um, I do actually have a few other books that I ordered that are coming, so I'll do a video on those when I get them. But just to tell you a little bit about it, um, so basically bird divination is called Orinthomancy, also known as augury. And it's something that I've always done personally, uh, most of my life, just intuitively or spontaneously get messages from birds. You know, I'd see one flying by and I would just know intuitively that, oh, this is a good sign or it's a bad sign or, you know, just get messages um, from the birds or if there was a sighting of a unique bird, certain things like that. And so, I read recently learning that there was a more formal um, style of divination specifically for uh, reading birds and I thought I'd really like to dive deeper into that and have a broader um, and deeper knowledge and learning of it and to really just devote to the practice of bird divination. Um, one of the ways that I learn best and it is said that uh, a great way to learn is to share what you are learning with others. So I thought I would give it a shot here on YouTube and um, go ahead and share the process with you all. Um, I am by no means an expert in the realm of bird divination, but I am definitely looking to seek a deeper knowing and would really like to specialize in this form of divination. So with that said, if this is a topic of interest with you, then I would love to share this adventure of learning it alongside with you here on YouTube and I'll just do a whole series for you here. And today, what I thought I would do is share with you the resources that I'm gonna get started with. So, once I decided to um, devote to this, I went through everything I had on hand and looked for anything that I owned that worked with bird symbolism, um, birds in general, and also anything specifically about orinthomancy. So what I have is um, some cards here. So this is a deck called Divine Feather Messages. It's a great little oracle deck. And while it doesn't have very much information in it, it really packs a punch. It does have a good little bit, like so for example here, we have Crow, and it gives you a little blurb about it, a message that the card represents, but also some energies and seasons and elements um, color and an affirmation. So that is really a nice little bit of information and it has quite a few pieces of, um, or quite a few birds in there. And the cards are really cute and they have just a phrase on them. But really the information in the book is what I'm looking at here in learning more about the birds and uh, divinatory style meanings of them. And then I also have another oracle deck here that is 100 ink animal oracle cards. These ones have more than just birds and they're really pretty much just an ink picture of the animal and a keyword. But the keyword can be some good symbolism there. 
However, the book for this deck is really what I wanted to focus on and use in my learning here because if I find birds here like an owl, it's got a good bit, a little bit of information here about the bird and then as well as the keyword for the deck. So just a little bit more bird symbolism. I can use the information from that book as well. And one more Oracle deck is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guide. Again, this one is not fully about birds, but it does have a whole section that is air and it does have some birds in there, like here's vulture and it has some key symbolism here. Um, and what I also like about these is uh, these give some information about when it's in balance, when it's out of balance, and when that energy, um, what to do to bring it into balance. So for the few bird symbolisms that they do have in this book, um, that would be great to utilize. So that goes with this deck. I'll just show you a few of the cards in case you haven't seen it before. So again, these are, you know, more than just birds, but... I'll be using the information in the book. Basically anything I can get my hands on relating to birds, bird symbolism, bird divination, because part of being able to divine from things is also having knowing about it, right? So if you learn and understand, you know, the characteristics and the nature of the creature or the animal, then you can understand its symbolism better. So, and be able to, if you have that knowing, you've got a base of information for spirit to work with you on as to bringing messages your way um, using that symbolism. So the other items I have here, are some information that are just on uh, birds in general. So at the thrift store last year, I came across these um, great books from the Audub um, Audubon Field Guide to North American Birds. It's got the Eastern and the Western region. So I am on the West Coast, so this would be the birds has got some really gorgeous pictures of the birds, all kinds of birds, as well as in the back, it has information on their habitat, um, their range, their nesting. It gives a description, the voice, what their call sounds like. Um, it's just really good information about the birds in general that I might actually see in my area um, and understanding their habitat and their voice and their nesting really again goes any goes deeper into the understanding of the birds themselves which will then give you a better understanding of being able to divine from you know their calls or um, their behavior and such like that. And then I also have these fun little cards. Um, Sibley's Backyard Birding Flashcards, because like I said, I've always loved birds and received messages from them. It's just in the past, it's just always been very spontaneous and intuitively, and now I'm looking to really um, devote to the study of it and practice of this form of divination. These cards are great um, because it also gives you some physical features of them as well as um, their habitat, their description, and their voice. But it's like a little abbreviated version and it's got this little map on the back of where you might see the birds. Um, these are great cards. You know, they're really just intended if I'm looking out my window and I see, oh, look at that awesome bird. What is it? Then I can flip through here and find it and then dig deeper, you know, in the other resources that I have. So 
So these are great, great resource to have. So I've actually used these ones quite a bit just to identify birds that I come across. And that'll be very helpful because um, getting very familiar with whatever birds are in your area, the ones that you're most likely to see first, um, that's what I'm going to focus on because the ones that I'm more likely to see um, are going to be the ones that I see on a regular basis that I can practice um, remembering the meanings and symbolism of the different birds as I see them. Um, so that when I want to actually divine a message, I've built up that knowledge base. So that's for the birds themselves. And now to some more specific um, information and symbolism here. I have this great book here that is Animal Magic by DJ Conway. I do love DJ Conway books. Um, I just, I really do. And in this particular book, she has an entire section on birds and winged creatures. And in her books, she gives, let me find a good page here, um, that gives a good amount of information. How about crow? Crow's always good. Okay, so you've got the crow. It gives you a bunch of information about the crow in general. And then she also lists out some superstitions, which are handy because I find that a lot of what I've been doing a little bit of reading up online, um, that the superstitions do tend to play a role in certain behaviors that they're seeing that then they're divined a certain way. Um, and magical attributes, which I love because, you know, along with the divination, I am a witch and um, really work to put the magic in everything that I do in my life and of course the messages that I receive may have something to do with my spiritual and magical practice as well and then they also have here um, a chant so I notice like here's a dove or pigeon same thing um, and she's got a chant at the end as well as the magical attributes and superstitions for all of these. So it's got a pretty good section of some pretty common birds and a couple uncommon ones. Um, so there's that, let's see that section. That's a pretty good section size. So there's that book. And then another book that's very similar is Animal Speak by Ted Andrews. I did do a flip through of this one already on my channel, so if you'd like to see that. And he also has here an actual chart of, it's not actually all the birds in his chapter here, but it is a lot of them. And it is, um, it gives you just some keywords really fast, which is nice. And then for each of, he's got some exercises in here for working with bird energy. And more information about birds. And I think there was a couple of things in here about using them in some exercises for using bird energy, um, working with bird medicine. So whether you call it medicine or you work it within it in your spellcraft. Um, he's got a lot of good information in here. Winged enchantment. So that's actually where the section starts. And it's got a whole section in here specifically about feathers, which is nice. So I'll be reading through this and fetish fetishes and a section on feather magic. So I really believe that all of this will be very helpful to me um, in learning more about bird divination and maybe how to incorporate that into magic as well. Um, divination and magic find go very nicely hand in hand. So here is an example of um, information he has. So he's got a keynote 
So for Blackbird, it says understanding the energies of Mother Nature. And the cycle of power is summer. And he's got a bunch of information about the bird there. So pretty much the same for all of the birds in here. They have a keynote, which, you know, it could just be a keyword, cheerful and truthful ex uh, expression. And the cycle of power is usually a season. So like this one is spring. This one's daybreak, so it might be a time of year. Uh, chicken is year round or daybreak. And he gives a good amount. I've read through some different ones in here. And he gives a good amount of history and sometimes some folklore and stuff. Like look at his section here on eagles. It's huge. Um, illumination of spirit, healing, creation, all the seasons. And daylight are the cycles of power. And then just a lot of really good information in here. It's a huge section for for that bird. So this one goes, how far back do the birds go? It's a pretty big section of birds specifically. So this is a great resource. So his bird section is pretty much it's to the right before here somewhere. Good, good amount of information on birds and their symbolism. So, okay, there's that. And then one more book here. Uh, this one here has an actual section in it about orinthomancy. And here we go. So she's got a section on it, which this is where I actually uh, realized that there is actually a you know, formal style of divination, not just, you know, randomly or spontaneously doing it, but an actual form of divination. And she states here that it was practiced by several ancient cultures, including Mesopotamians, Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, and Celts. So I love when things have a big history across many cultures. And then she specifically has some traditional meanings of the birds and their symbolism for orinthomancy in here. And she's got several pages worth of that. So those are my, my resources that I have to get started. So pretty big task, just learning more than the basic information that I already have about birds in general and um, using their calls and their feathers and everything um, from their flight patterns and odd sightings of them and things to divine messages. So I am really excited to go down this path and this journey and I am excited to see if any of you are interested to go along with me. So like I said, I did order a few more books that are specific for bird divination. So I will do a video once I get those. And as well as I'll probably do um, some beginner videos starting with a little bit more in depth about what it is and some of the common first signs that you can start looking for, you know, just to kind of get started on that. But that's what I have for you today. And I am really looking forward to this. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.